Sri Lanka. Denmark. Good to see you. So this vice chairman of the committee is the nice chairman. Nice to meet you, me. You also vice chairman. Nice to meet you. We approach this. This is a government history. Bring the participants of World Scout Committee and Regional Scout Committee meeting. All together, hopefully, we will share this lovely afternoon in a most friendly atmosphere. Para hadirin undangan yang berbahagia, untuk membuka acara pada siang hari ini, mari kita saksikan persembahan tari dari Dinas Pariwisata dan Kebudayaan Provinsi DKI Jakarta.
sebuah tarian yang mempesona untuk membuka acara kita pada siang hari ini. Terima kasih kepada Dinas Pariwisata dan Kebudayaan Provinsi DKI Jakarta. Acara selanjutnya adalah laporan Ketua Panitia World Scout Committee dan Regional Scout Committee Meeting yang akan disampaikan oleh Ibu Dr. Irene Agus. Ladies and gentlemen, next program which is speech by the International Commissioner of Gerakan Pramuka. Kepada yang terhormat Ibu Dr. Irene Agus, kami persilahkan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera untuk kita semua Bapak Wakil Gubernur DKI Jakarta yang terhormat Bapak Basuki Cahya Purnama Saya mohon maaf bahwa laporan ini akan saya sampaikan dalam bahasa Inggris Karena banyak saudara-saudara kita yang baru saja datang dari luar dan belum paham bahasa Indonesia Today is a very special day that we are hosted by the Jakarta Capital City Government to be here in the occasion of our two important meetings that we have just had at Chibubur. On the 23rd and 24th of March, we had a joint committee meeting from the World Scout Committee and Asia Pacific Regional Committee that decided on many important things. And this meeting is very special because this is done outside of Geneva and the first time in Asia Pacific. Among us today, we have the leadership of the World Scout Committee the World Scout Bureau, the APR Scout Committee, as well as the leadership of Gerakan Pramuka, which is headed by Professor Azrul Azwar. We have also the World Scout Committee Chair, Mr. Simon Hangbokri. And we have the World Scout Bureau Secretary General, Wisdom Secretary General, Mr. Scott here. We have also Vice Chairman here, Mr. Wahid Labidi. And another Chairman, Mr. John May. We still have a lot of leadership here. For instance, we have the Regional Director of APR, Mr. Abdullah Rashid. And we also have representatives from the countries that is joining the International Scout Peace Camp that has been open this morning. So uh, we are lucky that Jakarta is hosting those two important events, first for the leadership and then for the Scout Rover uh, members. I would like again to thank you for your acceptance for this courtesy visit and also for the luncheon. I know everybody is hungry by this time, so I would like to stop here and again, thank you so much for hosting us. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bapak Ibu pada undangan sekalian, acara selanjutnya adalah pertukaran souvenir. Ladies and gentlemen, next program is souvenir giving by the Kepala Kuartir Nasional to the Vice Governor of Jakarta Capital City. The Our appreciation, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Cho, the Chairman of the ASEAN Good evening. 
Honorable Mr. Simon Lee, Chairman of the World Scott Committee. Honorable Mr. Scott Pierre, Secretary General of the World Organization of the Scott Movement. Honorable Dr. Chow So Po, Chairman of the Asia Pacific Regional Scott Committee. Uh, Honorable Mr. Abdullah Rasid. And Yang Terhormat, Pak Asrud Anwar. We use Kak. Kak is the uh, oldest brother. is a uh, Scott in Indonesia. We use Kak. I don't know how to say Salam Pramuka. <laughs> so welcome to Jakarta. It's a great honor for me to receive all of you here. And we apologize for our governor could not join this luncheon with all of you. That's why he asked me to receive, join this luncheon. But I also want to apologize I could not join the luncheon when you have lunch. I have another meeting. That's why I have to move. Uh, we are very welcome. I talked to Mr. Asu Anwar. Please tell us now what kind of uh, province could have could provide for all of, all of you. We hope all of you will enjoy this Jakarta. We are still on our progress to make this become a new Jakarta, a place convenient for all, no some area, again for uh, next 10 years. We hope in these five years we will have a significant progress. We have targeting, developing from the government budget 200 power each year. Because we still have many people live on the river banks, on the like uh, many slum area, uh, we try to provide for them the education, the health, uh, insurance, and also a place for doing business. We just collect them daily payment. Uh, we believe and what or. Obsession is to make Jakarta be a showcase for the whole Indonesian, for a transformed Indonesian to be equal country with like a your country, most of your country. That's what we, we dream about this. Uh, I try to learn, I never joined the Scots like a Pramuka. <laughs> when I was a region, uh, a river with the mayor, I have a problem because I have to be an uh, inspector for, for, for the event of this Scott. I don't know how to put the tie of this Scott. <laughs> even, even the press, I don't know how to use this. Yeah, I, my, my staff have me to do this. You know why? My father is two outspoken people in my fields. That's why my mom is a little bit afraid if I, my father has uh, some enemies to make a problem for us. That's why I, I never join. Because I have to join, you have to camp on the uh, hills or maybe in the jungle. They live in the plan. My mom is very afraid about this. <laughs> That's why I, I never joined the Scott, but yeah, I, I love to, to see my friend to do this. That's why I, I was a legend. We always spot this Scott. We believe this is very important for not only for talking about the teenager or a young, but for a country. We have sacrifice to serve people. I think it's very the courage. It's very important to do from still childhood. I want to say Scott's creating a better world. That's right. This is on. I have to read this. You know why? Because I, I, I don't know. 
many things about Scots. That's why my staff give me this to guide me. <laughs> And usually, I never use a paper like this. I re like free speaking is more easy, you know. But I don't have a time to read this first because this is a very accident. Uh, Mr. Governor said you have to come to this luncheon. You have to talk with with them. This come from many countries. We are very thank you again. Difficult to follow. You then have to do this luncheon. It's different. Different. Between his family, once again welcome to Jakarta, and not only let's enjoy the city, but enjoy our. Kaji, misalnya tuh orang yang lansia itu naik bus Transjakarta itu tidak bayar. Hmm. Memang, terus kita lagi kaji, apakah orang bayar 10% dari gajinya saja bisa naik bus seluruh Jakarta. Hmm. Nah, kita kan belum terintegrasi dengan Kopaja kan. Kalau Transjakarta kita sudah bisa. Nah, kita lagi coba no guide kereta api. Nah, tapi kereta api punya sistem, dia punya e-tiketnya kan nggak beda dengan bank. Nah kita lagi lihat kalau itu bisa, idealnya itu untuk membantu menekan ini biaya transportasi orang Jakarta itu itu diusahakan hanya 10% dari UMP, berarti kira-kira 220 ribu, kalau paling tidak ya 15 persen lah, paling mentok itu Sehingga ini akan menolong, lalu kami akan melakukan perubahan trayek-trayek juga, jadi jangan lagi dibiarkan orang naik bus itu sampai 2-3 kali ganti bus, coba dia bisa sekali saja, nah itu kan demikian itu menghemat waktu. Dan kita juga akan terpaksa akan membangun juga banyak apartemen-apartemen sewa yang murah di tengah kota supaya itu mengurangi beban orang-orang yang kerja masuk ke kota. Nah kita Pak Gub tadi sudah minta kita mau usahakan targetkan tiap tahun itu minimal dapat 200 tower, 200 tower untuk dibangun. 200 tower itu kira-kira 20 ribu unit. Nah ini kalau mungkin orang tinggal dekat kita bisa lakukan. Tentu saja kita juga akan menjaga harga-harga pasar kebutuhan pokok. Nah, kita betul-betul BUMG kami itu, food station segala macam, kita betul-betul mesti jaga betul. Jangan sampai mereka hanya fungsi BUMG tapi tidak membantu kontribusi untuk penjagaan ini. Karena bagi kita kan yang penting kan, kalau pendidikan sudah oke, okay. kesehatan oke. Okay. Jadi yang penting, sekarang kalau sekolah sudah dapat, sakit sudah dapat, perumahan bisa dapat, lalu tempat usaha juga bisa yang murah, kita siapkan. Tahun ini akan siapkan 5 pasar, PD Pasar yang dibangun kembali dengan sistem mereka hanya iuran harian untuk mereka berusaha dan setelah transportasi, nah kami yakin ada bahan pokok makanan kita tahan ini akan membuat kenaikan-kenaikan ini tidak begitu menaikkan kebutuhan hidup layaknya warga DKI jadi kira-kira seperti itu Apa sih yang dikenai kereta api? Bagaimana dengan fenomena orang-orang yang dan sampai saat ini masih belum itu masih tambah, intinya itu apa? Mesti tambah lebih banyak kereta api. Jadi kita di kereta api itu lakukan berbagai cara. Nah kita lagi berpikir, tahun ini kita akan bantu kereta api. Kalau dia tambah kereta api kan jadi, headway-nya kan tambah pendek, macetnya lebih tinggi. Karena ada pertemuan-pertemuan jalan sebidang itu kan. Makanya kita lagi tahun ini kita akan bangun 12 flyover ataupun underpass tempat pertemuan kereta api dengan jalan itu. Supaya kurangin, tapi ini juga masih tidak cukup. Untuk sisi timur, loop lain yang sisi timur, kita mengharapkan kereta api bisa semua itu pakai elevated di atas. Nah, tapi masakan pusat mau biayain atau tidak? Pusat sudah putuskan semua dibiayain oleh kereta api. 
Nah ini yang kita mesti tutup baik-baik. Kenapa kita menarik PT MRT itu direksi itu dua itu dari kereta api. Nah supaya apa? Supaya nanti ada penggabungan antara kereta api dan MRT. Karena remnya semua sama untuk menekan biaya-biaya operasional sehingga soal naik di atas itu bisa hilang nanti. Kalau kita mungkin turun kereta api ditambah bisa hilang. Kalau jangka pendeknya bagaimana Pak? Jangka pendek kereta api sudah lakukan, tapi tentu kita tidak setuju yang sampai orang bisa kecelakaan gitu ya. Tapi saya Martin. kira di praktek sudah cukup lumayan loh. Kereta api sudah lakukan jangka pendek, sistem satu tiket. Jadi mereka begitu bayar tiket kereta api, sudah ada pembicaraan, cuma tinggal hitung pembagiannya. Mereka begitu nyambung, misalnya di Duku Atas. Mereka mau pikir nyambung, langsung naik Trans Jakarta sudah gratis. Nah kita pengen orang naik kereta api itu seperti itu. Sehingga dia bisa hemat, tidak perlu dicuri-curi membayarkan nyawanya. Pak, yang nggak pendek. Emang udah ada pemenangnya Pak Tendra? Eh, sudah bisa ketahuan sih. Ini direksi baru atau harus? Eh, ya. Yang itu Pak Pan, Wika, Wika. Ada tiga kok. Dia bagi tiga sih. Satu dokter. 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 Satu dok